Welcome back friends. So in this video of socket programming, I'm going to discuss about the get host by name. In the previous video, we discussed about this get host name. And today I'm going to discuss about the get host by name. Using this API, uh, we can understand like uh, after, after whatever value will be returned by the get host by name and that is a structure basically a pointer to this structure host end. So this will be return host end after the call to get host by name. Using this API call, you can find out various things. Like first thing is like what kind of address it supports, what kind of address family it will support, like if it is AFI net or if it is like AF net BIOS. And uh, then you can find out like uh, what is the IP address of your uh, uh, machine uh, where uh, your server is going to be running. Right? So based on the name of the uh, machine, you can find out that what are the addresses that have been assigned to it. So it's not only uh, like uh, your own machine, it, it can be any machine. Like if, if that machine is on the network and your program is running and uh, uh, you get the machine name uh, as an input in your program, then also you can find out that particular machine and uh, you can find out that how, uh, what are the various parameters that are supported by the uh, separate machine by the other machine, right? Uh, you can find out if it is uh, uh, with this family, like uh, if the family of the address, if the address type family for the machine is AFI net, or um, you can find out what what is the address and what are the IP addresses assigned to that machine. If only one IP address assigned, then only one IP address will be visible here, right? And uh, uh, these are the important things. Uh, and apart from that, uh, there are many other things like there. There is the alias. Uh, you can print the alias names as well like uh, what are what are the other names for this uh, host name so all those things are very important uh, sometimes you need them in your program whenever you are uh, developing your uh, socket server and client program in that case you may need this information very often right so uh, to use that information how to properly use that api i have just prepared this video for you okay so rest of the things uh, before you start calling this uh, get host by name Rest of the things are the same. You need to call this WSS startup. I have already told you in the previous video. And uh, then uh, here I have uh, called the function get host name to get my own host name. That is the machine name where my uh, program is running, right? So this is my personal machine where my server is running, right? So I will just uh, get the name of my host using the guest host by name. Once you get the host name in this variable, SZ host name, then you can call this function get host by name. In the get host by name, you need to pass the name of the host. Once you pass the name of the host, and if this uh, function is returning successfully, then it will return a pointer to this host and test trick, which is the remote host, right? I have created a variable of a pointer variable of remote host name. So this will be returned here. And in this remote host, all the information, like what are the aliases name, and what is the address type? If you have to access the address type, you need to address this h underscore address type variable. And if you have to access the aliases, then you need to go to this, like p alias is equal to aliases. You will start from the base address of the aliases array, and then you can move ahead uh, in the array of the aliases, and, you, and it will keep printing the alias names of this host. Okay, and uh, this is the address type, which is AFI net or init BIOS, whatever it comes, this will print. And then we are just uh, printing the name of the, uh, printing the length of the host name, right? Remote host dot length. What is the length of the address? Uh, uh, or you can say the, what is the length of the uh, name of the machine, right? So that will be printed here. And then we are looking into if, if this is an AF INET type of address, then in that case, we are just going to print the various IP addresses that have been assigned to this remote host, right? In my case, only one IP address can is visible because there are no subnet and anything I have configured. So it's only an independent IP address which will be visible to you. And uh, this loop will run only once and you will be able to see the address here, right? So this is not a net BIOS machine. This is, it will not return any net BIOS type of address. So you will be able to see only one address which will be simple AFI net address. So let's run it and uh, let's uh, just uh, put a breakpoint just for the confirmation that whatever we are getting that is fine or not. So here I need to put the breakpoint. 
debug and uh, press the break toggle breakpoint. So I'm putting the breakpoint here, and now I'm just going to start it. Right. So here I can see that host name is correct. It is coming here. I have shown you in the previous video itself. And now we are coming to this get host by name, and here I'm getting uh, alias, right? Of all the remote hosts and all the address type. Basically, I'm getting a very I'm getting a return type of this host and test strip, this type, right? So host and test strip type is for this remote host, and I'm getting the remote. I'm I'm getting the remote host name. So here I am just checking if my remote host name was correct and uh, I got everything fine. Then in that case, what I will do, I will just uh, iterate through the aliases and let's see how many aliases are there, right? So there are no aliases. There is only one, which was the name of my machine. So it will not print anything. Now I am going to see what is the address type. So this is AFINet. So it will print AFINet here, right? AFINet has been printed here. Now we move to the next one, which is the length of the address. So the address is four, right? So length of the address is four, and then address type is AFINet. Then I'm then in that case I'm just going to iterate through all the IP addresses that have been assigned to my machine. So there is only one IP address, so it will print only one IP address, which is 192.168.1.4, right? So so this is working fine. So it is giving me all the things that I need. So rather than giving any hard coded values, if I'm creating my own server, I can provide these values to the uh, SRV structure, which is the struct uh, socket. If you remember, this is the address structure where we store the information about the server. So this is the name of the server soc and soc and editor in, and here based on the values that have been returned, I will just uh, Print it like sin family. I will put af underscore i net, and then based on the address, what I will do srv dot dot sin port. I am giving any port like right? uh, like uh, h to ns. I can give any port nine 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 nine. Any port I can give, and then srv dot um, Sin adder dot s underscore adder is equal to this a double d r, right? So this will be assigned to this address. So rather than providing it to something else, I think that has been given there. So adder is at the top. So inet underscore a two n two a. Okay, so okay, I just need to provide like um, a double dr dot s underscore adder that I have found here, right? So this will be assigned to this one, and then the last thing was mem set. If you don't remember what I'm doing here, you can just uh, go to the previous videos in the uh, same playlist, and you can see that how I was uh, developing my server, the socket server in um, in C++. Right in the same playlist, you can see. I think it it is uh, only second or third video where you will find all these things. So you can see there, and you will find that what I'm doing here and why this is needed. Right. Basically, this SRV structure is needed to bind to a port and start listening, right? So here I'm just going to do something SRV dot sin zero, and then it's like uh, with which you are going to fill it. It's like four. It's like zero, and then what is the size? Eight is the size. I'm filling everything with the zero. So here I'm just going to provide address of this SRV dot sin zero. Right. Then what we can do? We can just call the socket int n socket is equal to socket af underscore init 
and sock underscore stream and then you can give zero which is the tcp protocol by default and now if you try to bind it now you will be able to bind everything correctly so here i am going to just give i result is equal to bind and n socket and um, struct sock adder s trick and uh, you need to pass address of srv and then what is the last argument size of srv right so that is the length so we just need to see if my bind call is successful or not and then we will just see if i result call is successful or not so i result is equal to listen listen if it is able to start listening so n socket and then 10 we can listen up to 10 so it is fine so let's see uh, whether i result returns correct value i mean if it returns zero then it means that our bind call is successful and uh, if it returns minus one then it means that our calls are not successful and if if our bind and listen calls are successful then rest of the calls that we use to call uh, rest of the api calls that we use to create the server they all will be successful like select call or the any other call they will be successful right so let's see if uh, bind and listen calls are successful or not so let me put the breakpoint here insert the breakpoint and just remove the breakpoint from here disable the breakpoint and enable the breakpoint here so let's run it press f5 so let us see uh, everything should be fine now L let me see if f10 what does f10 returns let me just move to the next statement so this is returning minus one okay so this is not yet fine so let me see why it is not working fine so what was the problem i think it's like inet underscore n to a then only should work fine it should be only this and uh, here i think it should be like this one Okay, let me see why it is not working fine. I need underscore N two A. I need underscore address. And this one is used here. Okay, so this should be init underscore n to a and then let's pass this a double dr now let's see what happens so this returns sun side long which is fine so let's see let's run it again and let's see what happens next still minus one so Okay, so there is some problem and uh, the problem is around this only, the port only. I think there is some other call I'm missing due to which it is not binding. So I need to just check that one. So in the next video, I will let you know that why it is returning minus one and what is the fix for this. So the main purpose was to 
explain you about this get host name get host by name and in the next video you will see that what is the fix for this issue okay so in the next video i'm surely going to fix this one so you just need to take care of these concepts that i have explained it to you related to the get host by name okay so stay tuned with me for the next video because in the next video i'm going to fix this i need to check what is what what the wrong i'm doing okay and then in the next video we will fix it have a nice day and bye bye